The developer is here to develop the community and then they leave and it, the control is turned over to the community. Unfortunately, that's not the situation here. Homeowners have been reaching out to KXAN complaining they have no control over their own homeowners associations or how their dues are being spent. And the developer or builder is taking charge of the board, making important decisions those homeowners say are not always what they want. Last night on KXAN News at 10, lead investigator Brian Collister uncovered the loophole in state law allowing developers to control an HOA for years, even decades. And tonight, Brian's back after learning many of these homeowners don't even know what they're getting into when they buy their house. Exactly, Robert, and that's especially important with so many new neighborhoods popping up all over Central Texas. Just take a look at that loophole that we mentioned and how it's given the developers control in the two neighborhoods from our story this week. Lennar controls both HOAs and has done so for years. That's because the way state law is currently written, there is no limit to the development period. Essentially, how long a builder or developer can control an HOA, not the homeowners themselves. We took their concerns to State Representative Eddie Rodriguez, whose South Austin district is experiencing a housing boom, and now he's looking at ways to change the law. A lot of homeowners are frustrated. What can you do to help them? Well, you know, I take when a constituent calls me, and I've had constituents call about this, uh, not, not a, a horde of them, but a, but, but a number of them have called. I take that very seriously. So I will look into it here internally in my office, see what we can do, understand what the current law is, see where there might be uh, some ability to, to maybe close some of these loopholes, if there are any, and to see what we can do uh, to really weed out some of these bad actors. Now, Robert, it's unlikely the legislature would put a limit on the development period, but Rodriguez thinks it should be clearer, more transparent to the home buyer. Yes, and that's why we're making it easier with a step-by-step -step guide online showing you how you can find out if your developer runs your HOA. Just check for this story in the investigative section of KXAN.com.